What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button for me. That really helps the channel to grow. And we're pushing towards 1K. We're getting very close, guys. Very, very close. And thank you guys all so much for the support. I really do appreciate it. Never thought I'd actually make it to 1,000, but here we are. We're right on that threshold. So that's a big one for me. So thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. All right, today we're going to take a look at a knife that uh, I've seen online many times. It's been around for a while. I've never even considered buying this knife, though. Um, just purely out of aesthetics. Aesthetics didn't do it for me, right? Um, first off, this knife was sent uh, in to me by Jared Neves from Neves Knives. Thank you very much, Jared. I greatly appreciate it. And this is another one of those knives that I am going to be doing a comparison video with. And uh, that you'll see those videos probably uh, next week. Um, they should all be done this weekend, hopefully, if everything works out the way I think it will. And uh, should be seeing some of those videos next week. So, all right, this is the Spyderco Capara. Um, this is a very interesting knife. Um, different look from Spyderco, really. Um, first thing I'll say off the bat, ergos are fantastic. That's my big stickler with every knife. Oh, how are the ergos? How's it feel in hand? If it's not comfortable in hand, I'm not going to use it, so what's the point, right? Unless you're just sticking it in a case and putting it in a collection, what's the point? Well, the ergos are fantastic. All right, I'll get into the rest of it in a minute. Let me give you the specs and some size comparisons, and then we'll talk about this knife. All right, the overall length of this knife is eight and a quarter inches. The blade length is 3.6 inches. Uh, the cutting edge is only 3.44 inches, and blade width is one inch. Blade thickness is only 111 thousandths, so it's going to be super, super slicey. CPM S30V blade steel, carbon fiber handles, uh, stainless steel liners. Uh, handle length is just over four and a half inches, like 4.6 something, if I remember correctly. The handle thickness is a half an inch, and the weight is 3.4 ounces. And yeah, not, not my... Looks-wise, this one just doesn't do it for me, right? But once you get this thing in hand, man, it feels really good in hand, guys. Really good in hand, surprisingly. So, um, and for a 3.6 inch blade, it does not feel like a 3.6 inch blade. Of course, at under four ounces, that's not surprising. It feels feels like a much smaller knife. It's also very narrow, so it's not wide, um, not very thick. It feels. This is the one. You know, I like to say, like, say this Spyderco. The uh, Chaparral. This is a, a big little knife with that forward finger choil. It's a little knife, but it just feels bigger in your hand, right? This is a big knife that feels smaller in your hand than it actually is. It doesn't feel like it's got a blade that long. So interesting, interesting knife. Since we got it out, we'll go ahead and throw the Chaparral out there. Much bigger than a Chaparral. We'll go ahead and show a bunch of spider codes here. Here's the Spyderco Pair 3. We have a little family reunion of Spyderco on this one. All right. Here is the Spider Co Para Military 2. It's going to be much closer in size to that. Lengthwise, almost identical. I think the Para 2 is just a hair longer, maybe a tenth or an eighth of an inch. Not by very much, though. Here's the Spider Co Stovepipe. It's going to be quite a bit longer than a stovepipe. Here is the Spyderco Yojimbo 2. Got quite a bit of length on Yojimbo 2 also. And here's the Spyderco Shaman. Almost identical in length to a Shaman. I think they are identical actually. Exact same length. Although the Shaman's thicker, wider, just a much more beefy knife. It's a knife that feels as big as it is, right? Uh, because of how wide it is, how wide the blade is, how thick the handle is. It just feels like a over a three and a half inch blade or right at three and a half inch blade. This knife does not feel like that. It feels smaller in your hand. It feels smaller in your pocket because of how narrow it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm surprised how much I actually like it. I thought the ergos would be bad. I really did. And I, that I shouldn't have because it's Spyderco. Spyderco generally knocks the ergos out of the park. And this one's got really good ergos. Compression lock, of course. Um, works very well. I can tell Jared's broke it in a long time ago. Super drop shutty. 
And this is one of those where you got to get your finger out of the way because the tang of the blade will come around and hit your finger and the blade doesn't want to close all the way. I'll show you what I'm talking about because of how narrow this handle is. The blade's hitting my finger right there from holding the compression lock. But you just time it and it'll close right in there. Action's fantastic. You know, with, almost, with every other Spyderco I've owned or had in hand, I prefer to reverse flick with the Spidey hole. Um, but with this one, I definitely prefer the thumb flick. I get much better leverage. It feels more comfortable to me with the thumb flick. Um, I don't know if that's... It's just in the shape of the knife, I guess. But for me, the thumb flick's much better. I don't get that much leverage with the reverse flick. It just doesn't feel like that. It feels a little more awkward on the reverse flick to me. And normally with Spyderco, it's just the opposite. Like I said, I always prefer the reverse flick on a Spyderco. With this, I definitely prefer the thumb. It just... It just works better. It's more comfortable, and you get more leverage. And uh, yeah, it's excellent. Excellent action. Um, not a terrible looking knife. Still, aesthetically, it doesn't do it for me. Now, when you see the comparison knife I'm gonna be comparing this to, I think the aesthetics are gonna change a bit, or what you're gonna see in the comparison is gonna make sense. I think I'm gonna prefer the comparison knife over this one. Uh, we will see, though. We will see. I don't know if I'm going to prefer the other comparison knives with the other ones I'm doing, but this one I think I'm going to prefer the comparison knife. But this is not bad. This is actually a great knife. These run about 200 bucks. I'll link it below if it's available. Um, it, it's a Spyderco. Definitely a Spyderco. Has that Spyderco action. But, yeah, just not my cup of tea aesthetically, though. Um, but this is a very popular knife by Spyderco. So if you guys own one, let me know what you think. Um, also, do you prefer the thumb flick over the reverse flick on this one? Because that's odd for me at Spyderco. It's the first Spyderco ever that that's happened. So, All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And I will see you guys on the next one.